Hi, right, Dean, what you working on? Uh, I'm making a bell ferrule for my uh, LT, STC, B flat. Oh, good. When people ask me what my gig is, I say my gig is resonance and intimacy. Resonance just means that something's vibrating in a happy way um, and is pleasant to listen to. And when something is resonant, it wants to keep vibrating. Like when Scotty picks up his horn and he's in a good mood and he's all in alignment and he's smoking, he doesn't want to put the horn down. He wants to keep playing because he has this incredible resonance in his body. We want to build instruments that when they play, they vibrate in such a happy way that they want to keep vibrating and they encourage the player to keep playing. All right, Joel, how are these mouthpieces doing? Well, looks like they're within specification. Their size okay? Me. All right. Resonance opens up intimacy, the second half of what this is all about. The intimacy between the player and their higher self and what they want to channel to express themselves and learn more lessons about themselves. It opens up the intimacy between the player and their audience, which of course is a huge big deal because it's the intimacy and the connection from the player to the audience and then from the audience giving feedback back to the player that completes the circuit and really makes true profound communication possible when someone's making music. Well, Dave is a musician, he's a trumpeter. And uh, the other thing that he does, you know, he, he knows a lot about yoga, a lot about a lot of things that I don't know a lot about, which um, he puts into the design of his instruments and the thought process of his instruments. Nice. Okay. Cool. Play just a little bit more of that, and I mm -hmm. want you to play with your eyes closed, okay. and then just finish that line mm -hmm. with your eyes closed, okay. and then we're going to do a quick little meditation. Okay. okay. It's really fun for me that three of my main interests outside of music have totally informed what I do designing and building instruments. Flying, which is all about manipulating air pressure to create lift so that you can make airflow do what you want it to do. In our case, it's playing a trumpet. And then ham radio. When I was a kid, I started doing ham radio, and I still do it because we do the same thing acoustically, not in radio frequency. The player is the transmitter. The player generates the signal. The mouthpiece is the feed line. The instrument that they're playing is the antenna that radiates the signal. And then yoga, which is the science of how to make your body more resonant and how to connect yourself more to source. Keep the horn up, okay. and then tell me right now, how big are you compared to the physical body? Eyes closed? Uh, about twice the size. About twice the size of the physical mm -hmm. body, and mm -hmm. where are you compared to the physical body? Left, right, front, back? Behind right? and up to the right. Behind and up to the right. Mm -hmm. So now all we're gonna do is just kind of ground you a little bit, so mm -hmm. inhale through the crown, inhale through the feet, mm -hmm. and we're gonna help the hips just a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Good. Every time I'm around him, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm a baby and he's like, uh, the grandfather, and I'm trying to figure out what he's talking about, what he means, and you know, some things it didn't take me, it took me a while to figure out, like literally my posture. Okay, so now Alice is in the other room. Let's go meet Alice. She's going to work okay. on you for about an hour doing the Feldenkrais stuff. Okay. Okay. Mm. Great. I'm going to ask you to scoot up towards this top of the table just a little bit. Oh, yeah, it the Feldenkrais method is a remarkable combination of brain hemisphere balancing resetting the nervous system, and just an overall kind of Raja Yoga tune-up of the body. So it resets the template for how your brain and your nervous system and your body and your muscles all work together. Is it comfortable? Mm, it's okay. okay. The Feldenkrais gets the player to neutral, and then the energetics of being grounded and having an expanded presence so that the player's more aware of more aspects of themselves and how they tap into their creative energy, the door just is wide open. Come to standing okay. and I'm ready now. see how that feels. And yeah. Stand still for a moment before you walk. Okay. So. How you feeling, man? Well, I'm feeling great because I'm feeling a little bit more vertical now. I mean, I'm, everything yeah, feels like I'm forward. <laughs> That's crazy. Center man. of the ear over center of the shoulder over center of the hip over. Wow. Yeah. Well, should I play something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear the difference now before okay. and after. Okay. 
So the Feldenkrais method gets the player totally tuned into their higher self to be able to express themselves more creatively. It gets their body to neutral so that they can be more of a resonance chamber and immediately, instantly have a sound that projects more and has more brilliance and clarity, which makes for a more profound experience for both the player and the audience. I don't even want to let go of that. Oh, man. Good job. I've been playing trumpet 41 years now. And Dave, uh, along with Alice Boyd, realized I wasn't standing correctly, you know, and they fixed it like that. And it's like, what? Everything is just flowing now, way, way more than before. I know. And I feel, you know, like you said, not tipping over, but definitely more in line. And I'm yeah. just vertical, right? Right. Yeah. Instead of like that. So I just try to listen to him, and, and you'll just keep learning from him. But the main thing about all of this is that it makes me want to be a better trumpeter. That's the main thing. It makes me want to uh, hone in on whatever skills I already have and refine them and make them better and better and just get better and better because I know if I do, I'll, just, I'll be able to say a whole lot more on the instrument. Unbelievable. Nice I job, just Scott. wish everybody could experience this, man. Yeah. Mm -mm. Man, that's something else. I can't wait to get to a gig now. I'm I know. Play.